Hi, I'm Tom Bassett, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Einstein Activity Capture. From Salesforce Setup, navigate to Einstein Activity Capture. In this case, I've already enabled this, so there are more options than the default. If you haven't enabled this, you will only see the settings tab for the first time. Once you've turned Einstein Activity Capture on, you'll be guided through the process of creating a configuration. This controls what records sync and in which directions. As this is already on, I'm going to show you how to create an additional configuration. From here, press on new configuration, give the configuration a name and a meaningful description, and as necessary, set it to active or inactive. From the second screen, you can control what records sync. So here you can optionally disable or enable emails to sync. You can control event syncing and set the direction of the event sync. And also you can do the same for contact syncing. In this case, I'm going to turn emails off and leave the events on, as well as the contacts. You then have a few more options. So for example, when users first connect their account, how far back should the system go to log emails? Uh, and you can see here the default is 180 days. You can also set options to configure the event sync and you can also configure the contact sync as well. From the next screen, you can add users into the configuration. I'm not gonna do this because I'm already in another configuration and I don't want any conflicts. Uh, but here, in order to add users, they will need an Einstein Activity Capture license. This might be Einstein Activity Capture standard, or for example, if you have paid licenses, your users might have a Sales Cloud Einstein license instead. I'm going to press Next and then Save, and my configuration is now good to go. Additionally, from Settings, you can control optional features. In this case, Einstein Activity Metrics is enabled, as is the Activities dashboard. See my related videos for an overview of those features. You can also control the default sharing for activities. So in my case, I want all activities to be visible to everyone. You can also share activities with non-Einstein Activity Capture users and configure other options such as syncing internal events. And if you're using Google, including Google Meet details on Google events. An important consideration is when you set this up for the first time, the system will automatically add excluded addresses on your behalf. This means any emails within that domain, so for example, if I sent an email from Gmail to Gmail, this would not be captured by the system because it's automatically been added as a excluded address. However, with events, you can choose whether to sync internal events on the settings tab. So now that I have set this up, in order to connect your account, you need to navigate to settings and then connected accounts and then email and calendar accounts. From here, you can see I've already made the connection. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and add any feedback in the comments. Thanks.